All right, today we're gonna do a little home fortification tip. I know a lot of people don't like to think about this stuff, but you know, there are people out there that wanna get into your house and steal your shit. So this is a little trick that you can do to kind of help fortify your house, make it a little harder to get into. Uh, and it's really easy and it's really cheap, so why wouldn't you do it? And specifically today, what we're gonna be talking about is your garage door and this little emergency release latch. So if somebody gets like stuck under the door or something, you can yank on this and lift the door up and get them out. Burglars also use this to get into your garage. Once they're inside your garage, they can take as long as they want to get in the house because nobody can see them anymore. What they'll do is they'll take like a coat hanger or something, they'll stick it through this little gap between the house and the garage door, and they'll reach up in here and pull that down. See how easy that was? That was only done with just a regular old coat hanger. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it did take me a minute to do that and I did have to cheat a little bit, but I just wanted to prove the point that it can be done. Now, the other thing that you know I wanna bring up too is if you have these windows, um, it makes it a lot easier. That would've been a hell of a lot easier if I could see inside and I could see what I was doing. Um, I was trying to do it just by feel. So if you have these windows, do like I did, get some of this uh, like overlay stuff, put it on there and then people can't see uh, inside your garage anymore. So now I'm gonna show you how to make it a little harder to get into your garage. All right, what you're gonna wanna do is go down to the hardware store and get yourself some um, little zip ties. They're cheap, but you wanna get some pretty small ones and I'll tell you why in a minute. And also you're gonna need your tiny wire cutters. See, make sure you have the tiny wire cutters cause uh, you need the tiny tools to cut the tiny ties. So what you're gonna do with these little zip ties is you're going to zip tie this to this. And now the reason that you wanna use the smaller zip ties is so when you do pull on it, if there's an emergency, uh, they'll still break away and you'll still be able to open it. Then take your little teeny tiny wire cutters and cut off the excess. There you go, piece of cake. Okay, so if there is an emergency and you do have that up on there, all you gotta do is grab this and yank down and it'll break that right off. All right, there you go. Takes a couple of minutes and it's something that'll help you keep your house safe. If you like my content, please hit the subscribe button and also check out my next video. Why not? All right, guys. Thanks for watching my video and stay handy.